Okay, trying again to see if restarting the stream will fix the lag. Um, we'll see if anybody joins back in or what the deal is. But uh, definitely was not working well before, so we'll see how it goes now. If it continues to lag out this second time, then I will just give it up for the night. And then I'll try and figure out what the issue was. But I've never had issues before. So I think Babar, Babar sent a march at this guy because he was scouting. Okay, is it better now? I don't know what happened. Like, I've never had that issue before with this platform. It's a streaming recording platform called Omelette Arcade. And I've never... Um, it was the only one that would allow me to go live properly. Hey, Snipers, welcome. Um, so, if you guys are just getting here, I'm having a hard time already. I, uh, I tried to take a level 3 tile pretty early on. <laughs> And I got smacked by a 15k, 27k player. So the other thing I forgot to do is get all of these buffs going. They would not have helped against that guy, but, you know, it is what it is. So this guy already bubbled once, this beast from Sip. This guy's 1.3, so I'm in a decent spot for players around me. But yeah, there's there's fighting happening over here. This guy's got a wonder, 1.3 billion. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna try and make <sighs> keep level two tiles this time. Um, the level three tiles. I'll go look at that again. I've got three minutes, but it's um, I got wrecked already by this guy. Not this guy. Where is it? Not him. I don't know where the guy went, but I got killed by somebody. He must have moved already. But look at all these. There's so many C44s in here. 44s and 43s. I'm definitely behind the curve. Spicy noodles. Doc. So this guy is not much bigger than me, but he's got that assault cannon. He must have good stats. Serious black. 4.8 billion. Nope, oh, he's gone. Crazy Dan is the one that smacked me. C45. Only 2.8 billion, but C45. But he's got the assault cannon also. In Kingdom 605. So he's in Kingdom 605 and he's got crazy stats. That's insane. So he's a big spender to have that kind of stats. Morning Prince. I was supposed to go with Dark and the crew, and I asked them about it, and you know, it just they they missed me. They forgot about it. Hey Ghost, how's it going? Yeah, get to packing. I'll take a virtual beer. I need one after that first hit. I got wrecked already. There's a lot of big players over here, like, unless they really start fighting each other, I think level 3s are kind of out of it for this one. Which means I'm going to have to fight for level 2s. Yeah, they're just, everywhere I look there's big players. So many big players in this one. So hopefully they leave me alone up here in my little level 2 area and I'll see if I can't squeak out a top 50 with with that. Oh man. Hey Jared, how's it going? Uh, Snipers, I'm doing alright. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed that this time I was trying to plan around going with the 524 guys and it didn't happen. So these two have been fighting. He poured it next to each other to fight him. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't know who... So There it is. So Babar is sending a, um, a march at Beast. We'll see what happens with that march. And it's 1.1 billion. 
versus... Oh, he ported. So Beast is not taking the hits. So... Um, but he keeps attacking tiles and speeding at tiles. So I'm glad that I'm not getting annoyed like that. Um, did I want the info? What info? What did I miss? Oh, hold on. Let me try and find new tiles. Okay, here's one. This one's far away, so I'm kind of worried about putting one on there, but it's open, so I'm going to go for it. I just got to keep myself on tiles better than I did last time. Oh gosh, look at this. This was... there. It seems like there are less tiles. Whoever said that, like... This is some shady stuff happening. Like, there's way less tiles here than, than normal, it seems. Where they're spreading them out. I don't know what the right answer is, but oh yeah, I I want to look at it. I want to figure it out. Um, I just uh, I haven't had time to really look at those screenshots. But yeah, I wanna I wanna look at it and see. I just don't know what uh, what the um, the conditions are for triggering it, and if it's relevant to people. So those are the questions I have. 1.1 billion. So I'm about to have another mine close. Do everything I can to try and refresh. So there's one right next to me. I want this one. I'm saving my airship in case I need to fight. So that's the plan right now. Oh, there's another one right next to me. So who is this? Air Bros, 1.6. These two look like they're still fighting. Um, Platt. Oh, he's long marching some. I don't like long marching because if I do have to fight somebody, then I'm using more speed ups. I'm guilty. Oh no, a C-44 just landed over here. 2.5 billion C-44. If you go inactive for 15 days. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, you could plot that if you were trying to... Um... Oh, look at all the ones spawning next to me now. So it also gives you an alliance boost. Alright, that's interesting at least. Now there's tons and tons of tiles all around me after... So I mean, I think I'm ahead of the curve, which is the problem. At 2.2 .2 billion is just north of me, so I gotta watch out for that. I'm just worried if he's gonna take these, try and take these tiles that I'm holding just north of him, and then I'm gonna have to take some tiles from someone else. This one right next to me is a really good one, but there's a lot of movement happening. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. I think he's going to take these two tiles, and me and him would probably have some good fights, but I don't really want to duke it out with somebody over tiles that he's closer to. So we'll see what he does. So 25% building speed is pretty good as well. Now is that only if you accept the offer and go to a new kingdom, or is that in the kingdom you exist in? So it seems like it'd be pretty good for like power building a farm or something. Oh man. Alright guys, well this one's not very exciting so far, um, other than that first hit that I took. So the first hit, look at this, I was not even close. I got absolutely demolished. Look at these stats. It's insane. He has 20, almost 28,000 cavalry attack. So those are the kind of people that belong in the level 3 zone.
not me. I wish that I could go sit in the level 3 zone, but I'm never going to have stats like that. Inactive farming to upgrade your main. Yeah. If it's if it gives a 25% boost to the alliance, um, that seems pretty good. I'd have to weigh it against the alliance research and the amount of helps that you get and see if it makes a difference. I did end up getting lucky on a wonder. Um, so we had lost the cloak. Um, I think they lost it during UAC and it poofed, it vanished, it went away. And this weekend for UAC, I woke up at like three in the morning, uh, had to get up, go to the bathroom and Decided, well, I'm going to burn my stamina real quick and then go back to bed. And I launched four rallies. And when I um, when I finished the rallies, I saw that I had obtained the cloak. So I was pretty excited about that. It also made it so I had a harder time falling back asleep. Because <laughs> I was excited and, and awake at that point. But yeah, the cloak is pretty neat, and I'm still not used to the um, the whole not being able to get scouted thing. So I'm trying to get used to that because I still I was gonna pop anti scout for this, and I was like, wait, I don't have to. I'm hoping for top fifty, um, but without getting any level three zones, it's gonna be really hard. And there's big players everywhere, so I don't see myself getting a level three zone even for a little while. So unless they start fighting in the middle, um, it's it's not going to happen again. So maybe my run of top 50s is at an end unless I boost up my stats a lot. Because there's just, there's so many players in here that either that or I spend the $20 and go for the airship, but I'm skeptical to do that because you know, if you spend the twenty dollars and you don't get top fifty, then you spent twenty bucks for basically nothing, um, which would be really frustrating. So our kingdom is pretty peaceful. Um, so for the most part, like there's there's not any war. Um, the only issues involve around um, rules and politics within alliances like we had a failed merger because uh the alliance we tried to merge with didn't like our rules on um kingdom raid coins uh we have a rule that if you get hit because you forgot to bubble that you don't get any coins you have to tough it out and there's a guy who kept he's from the alliance that merged with us kept trying to get coins and part of the agreement was that we would make one or two of their guys r4s when they came over and we told him, no, you're not getting any coins, you forgot the bubble. And he would keep asking as soon as we got offline until his friends gave him the coins. So this last kingdom raid, he got like 1.5 million coins to heal up the troops that he lost because he forgot to bubble. Uh, so at that point, we demoted them from R4, and then the merger dissolved and they took off. So good riddance, I suppose. Uh, I was going to burn them, um, but some of them were nice and left messages about you know, really enjoying their time, and they were nice leaving, so it softened my heart, and uh, I decided not to burn them out of the kingdom. So the the two that were the ones that caused the issues are the ones that, that basically stole the raid coins. Um, they got off lucky because of their other members being nice and kind on their behalf. I agree. Um, I got a message earlier today about someone uh, coming to join the kingdom, and I need to respond to that email. Um, it's it's unusual to get a um, an email because even though it's posted uh, for you know inquiries of uh, business opportunities and all that stuff, I usually don't get that many emails. But someone asked me; they emailed me to. Uh, ask about the kingdom and if it's worth joining and if they wanted to restart if uh, if we'd have a spot for them. So, yeah, I mean, 
if you guys decide that you ever want to start over, um, you know, Kingdom 524, it's a good kingdom. And we help people grow. We help people learn. Um, we participate all, in all the events and, you know, try our best to help people grow rather than, than burning people out. And we only had one rogue. Uh, and he's been banned for a long time. He comes back, he ba bad mouths everybody for a couple hours, and then he gets banned for 30 days. And then he'll come back and he'll bad mouth everybody for a couple hours, and he gets banned for 30 days. Uh, and at one point, he was a very effective rogue because he had better stats than me. Um, but he's uh, he's definitely stopped um, stopped getting online to kill and spending. He used to get online when he was done being banned, and he would spend a couple hundred dollars and get a bunch of stats and go kill people. But he stopped that since. Yeah, if you want to come over and, uh, you know, make another castle and um, start leveling it up, by all means. I see flags popping up on the in-game chat, but I don't see it on YouTube. Oh, because it doesn't translate across. So, hey, uh, Baxada, welcome. Guessing from Brazil, it looks like a Brazilian flag. So, look at, I'm, a, I'm in 103rd place. This is horrible. Uh, I know it'll change as soon as these marches come in, and I'll jump up the ranks, but I'm not in a good spot right now. This is going to be... Uh, the rogue's name was... Um, uh, what was it? DMV was his name. Um, and he changed it. He was changing it to like, uh, he had a picture of like Snoop Dogg and he was doing that for a while. And then he had a picture of uh, another rapper and he's called himself Grandpa something. I, I, I don't remember, but yeah. And then he had some pretty vulgar names that he would try. <laughs> I wish that we could, like, the transferring, like, if if we get kingdom mergers, like, things are going to change. It's going to be way better. Um, it, it'll it bring some life to the kingdoms, because right now a lot of kingdoms are pretty dead. Um, and I'm hoping that some mergers will, will help that. But I think choice mergers are going to be tough because some people don't pay attention to what's going on in the kingdom. And you're going to end up with people left in a kingdom with nobody around. And then they're just going to quit rather than, you know, having been paying attention that there's a merge coming. So we just got some new blood over here, which I hate when people port into an area that is moderately peaceful and then they come in and start scouting and causing problems. Because now, I might have to fight this guy. So, I don't want to take partial mines if I don't have to. But it will. Oh, someone's already marching to that. Who's speeding marches? Jen Brawny. I don't know who he is. But I've got nothing open right now. This one's open. Who am I going to have to fight for it? So here's another one. That's a good one for me. Uh, I need one more. Here's another. And then I'm going to need another one in just a second. There it is. Okay, there's a lot happening right here. Let me refresh and see. And then I'll reread re those comments. I missed it while I'm actually doing stuff. Um, gosh, am I going to have to steal one? I don't really want to, but I will. So I think I'm going to send my real march here. Okay, well, time for a fight. Let's see what happens. So we've got one coming from this guy, Time Killer, 2.5 billion. So I'm going to have to probably bail out of this. I don't know. 
I don't know if he sent a full march or not. I guess let's see. Oh no, I don't have any troops there. Look at that would have been stupid. I didn't realize I lost four hundred seven four hundred thirty seven thousand. So I only had three hundred and something. I wanna let me click. Okay. So then I need a different tile, because I'm down some troops. The unfortunate part about that fight is I'm, I was kind of out of my section. So even though I won that one, um, I now have less troops, and I'm not even facing that, that girl directly. Like, I probably won't fight her again. This guy has a march coming that oh, I'm gonna have to start fighting more I can't uh, I can't just let people sit in my area there's a tile so this one I'm gonna lose uh, I'm gonna lose the march I just sent hopefully it's probably gonna be a bloodbath we'll get stats uh, and then I'll take this one right next to me hopefully I don't have to fight anybody for it but I need that march to get there quick and die so that I can move for this one. So I wish that New World had healing coins like Darklands. Because I haven't fought that much, but now all of a sudden, you know, I'm already down a bunch of power. So the other weird thing that seems like it's happening right now is my power is not... So right now, it's based on power. So see up here in the corner, it used to go by how many troops you have left, and it's not doing that right now. It's doing it off of power, and my power's not dropping because my troops aren't actually dead. But I've got 1.2 million dead right now, so that's a little rough. I used to come into New World and fight like that, but I always found, like, if I start fighting on tiles... Um, unnecessarily, or I'm wasting troops zeroing people, that I don't get top 50. Uh, and it's more fun, but I, I need those top 50 rewards. Like, that's what I'm really after. So there's another new person in here, Clue, who's right in my area. Um, too many people in this one. Like, I didn't think I'd join such a high um, count. Like, there's so many people that uh, that are in this one. I thought that there were only like 800 people. Yeah, but I'm only getting 100,000 troops back. <laughs> so if I was going to do all of these, it's going to cost me like 10 or 15k gold, which I don't want to spend unless I get mad. <laughs> So if somebody makes me mad, then sure, I'll, um, you know, I'll blow some gold. But if right now, look, I am actually on the brink. I was at 51 after those four came in, which means I am making some ground up. Um, but I'm under, so I got all my rewards already, but I'm under, at halfway, I'm only at 55k. So that means I'm at roughly 110,000 at the end, which is not good enough. So I need to go get an eye back on some level 3 tiles and see if there's anybody who doesn't belong who's getting tiles, which happens pretty often sometimes. Punisher 1.7, he's got good stats. Um, half tile a C35 going on to a half tile the problem with that is oh man look at this oh I've been killing it in the gathering um, the problem being like New World is I was not in gathering for like 30 minutes before New World and the whole hour while I'm out so it's like an hour and a half that I'm not gathering and then I'll be going to bed soon, so that's another couple hours I won't be gathering. So we'll see. This this little C35 has two... Oh, no, he's only got one now, but he's got a tile. 
Um, so maybe there is a spot for me to get a level 3 tile if I'm careful. So Honda, who's Honda? Honda right there. Someone from down here is going at that. So is that a full tile? No, it's a partial tile. So somebody's fighting if there's this many partial tiles. Um, that's the thing I need to pay attention to. But I also need to get a tile, a level 3 tile that's far enough away from these big guys that if they speed it in, that I can pull it out before it's too late. No, oh, no, don't do it, Jared. Don't do it. <laughs> no, Jared, don't. <laughs> Look at this. Why are they abandoning? What is happening over here? So this guy, the beast from, from Sippy, is, he's bullying more people. So I think him and, and Babar came to an agreement since they stopped fighting. But it looks like he's pushing other people off tiles. So we'll see. But he hasn't lost any power. So he's either healing it with gold or... Um, yeah, yeah, Jared, go clear level three tiles for me. <laughs> go in there and just wreck everybody's tiles and, and cause chaos. <laughs> uh, what's, um, what are your stats? We can find somebody for you to kill. There's a C41 that's bubbled that's going for a tile. So when people are bubbled, all you have to do is, if you see them marching to a tile, is get there first, and their march will automatically return. So there's, I mean, these little guys are balls of steel, man. Look at this, he's going for a level, a full level three resource tile. But he's right next to this 3.5 billion power player. So I doubt he'll let him have it. Vodan, two point three billion. Look at this, balls of steel, man. Maybe I will send a march over here. I just gotta find the right one. <clears throat> the problem is every time I do it, I swear I end up having bad luck. Like I get a tile. And I'll have it for a while, but then someone will decide to speed hit me, and I end up losing all of the stuff from the level 3 tile. I've seen this guy before. He's been in quite a few of my new worlds, actually. Spicy noodles, serious black... Kathy. I knew that name sounded familiar. What kingdom is Kathy in? So Kathy, I don't know where she's sitting, but she's snuck in there. She's on a tile that she's in a good spot. She's sitting in between Sirius, who has his tiles over here, and he probably doesn't see it. So that might be the tile that I take in a minute. Spicy noodles is all over here. Blood's there. So this one right here. Wait, where'd it go? This one right here. But Beowulf is a new one. He just poured it in. He's got nothing left. So I'm going to speed a march at this node in a minute and 27 seconds. And then I'll try and watch this node and hopefully not get smacked off of it while I'm getting my other level twos. My resources, well, I, had a, I had a pretty decent raid. I got a lot of, um, a decent amount of wood and iron. Actually, I mean, decent amount of silver too. I didn't get much food. I think I had a like 120 million food that I got from this last raid, but I dumped that onto my farm pretty quick, so I didn't burn through it. It would have been more resources if Luca didn't smash me to pieces.
But, uh, you know, that happens. <laughs> when you go to Kingdom 551, you have to expect that Luke is going to kill you. Okay, so this tile. And there's an. So it looks like there's another tile that just spawned. So Nightingale is racing another C30 for a new tile, which I think I might want that new tile instead. Maybe I'll leave Kathy alone and we'll take out the the C30s. Now I gotta find that spot again. 100% taking that tile. Hopefully Sirius doesn't want it. Okay, so I can't watch this hit because I need to get back to my own section for the new tiles that are landing. And none of them are right next to me. It seems that they are all spawned away from me, which is unfortunate. And I just sent my airship away, so I have to find tiles first and people have to leave me be because I can't take these guys have been fighting a lot I want to leave them be if I can let's see did that little C-35 put up like a mega fight against me? oh no, never mind um is it your side? Do I have it muted? I don't have it muted, do I? Have you guys been hearing me talk the entire time? I sure hope so. <laughs> I've been talking to myself for <laughs> straight up <laughs> 35 minutes. <laughs> okay. See? You guys freaking me out. Thanks for uh, clarifying, though. Let's take this one if I can. Where's another one? I need to give it a second because... Oh, that bothers me so much when people do that. Oh, I hate that so much when they leave partial tiles. You guys know how much I hate that. Um, so that march is going to go splat again and then I need to take another one. So this guy has been... I've been taking things right next to him, but he's got more more pure power than me. I don't know his stats. I haven't had a chance to uh, do it. Okay, first we'll clean that up, because I can't have that just sitting there. And then I need another one. There's so much movement happening in here. Okay, I need to get back and watch this one. This is the one that matters. Um, if I keep this tile right here, who's marching towards me? Time killer. Oh, he's the big 2.5 billion. Yeah, I'm not going to win that. I don't have my airship. I've just sent a baby march against it. Let's see what happens. So, another bloodbath. So he's sending full marches. So I'm going to get screwed in this just because I am in such a highly contested area. Let's see if I can get this one. I'm sitting in 40th. Okay, so there's a chance still. There's still a chance. All right, this one right here is guaranteeing my top 50. If I can mine this all the way out, I literally, <laughs> look at how fast that hit came. So blood would have just destroyed me. Um, who's scouting me? And where's this coming from? Fenrir, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to take that. Okay. So, what do I need to do here? I need my airship back, and I need to start fighting, because 
This is really frustrating me. Is this full? Nope, it's a partial tile. Who's leaving all these partial tiles? Time killer, after pushing me off of tiles. Is gonna leave partial tiles. Oh, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> you got ninth? That's awesome. Well done, dude. I am having a hard time right now. People are leaving partial tiles. I'm cleaning them up. I thought about it. I think I'm just gonna wait it out for a minute. Oh, there is one. So, I could probably, I could take this one, but instead I'm going to take the one that's by him, and hopefully he'll leave me be. Um, so many partial tiles around. So how many do I actually have? I've only got three, I need another. I'm going to have to take the one from Fenrir. Did that guy leave another partial tile? No, he's scouting Fenrir. There should be another one spawning because they just cleared one. And if I can get a fresh tile instead of having to fight somebody for it, it'll be better. But nothing. Is there anything on that? No. Let's see if... If he doesn't beat me in there, he'll have to unbubble to f do it, and I don't think he wants to unbubble. He's leaving partial tiles. I swear if he tries to beat me in there. Nope, he's gone. Okay. So here's one that's full. Who's marching at me? Not gonna happen, buddy. I don't know what he's sending. He's only C26, but I only sent a march with 18k, so he could take that from me, potentially. Who is this? Backwards. I'm not going to let him have that. He's too far away. I'm going to take that from him. In 20 seconds or so. Alright, so we are sitting at 21st. Um... Oh, uh, we should, for the last bit, use our Colossal March. Because why not give us a bigger March cap? Did any new ones spawn before I steal? Is that the same guy from far away? Let's just take that one. Okay, who's marching? Somebody else is marching at it. This guy, 1.7 billion. Uh, I did use my guard talents this time. Um, okay, they're leaving me alone on this one. So, yeah, I used them, I used them right at the start. I haven't um, actually had a big fight to use them, but my stats right now with that... Where are my stats? Oh, that was without an airship. Okay, I was like, why are my stats so low? So without my airship, here's my stats. I think with my airship, I'm at like 11k, 21k on Cav Attack. Yeah, level 2 tiles is... Um, the problem that I have is I have a lot of troops, but I have that spread of low troops that um I, I like that too like i like coming to hang out with you guys i know you like to see fights but i like getting top 50 where no one messes with me and i just know that i'm gonna get the training speed ups because i really need those training speed ups you know like i want to have 20 million troops and have just 15 million tier 12 so i can go in here and fight to the death every new world and it doesn't matter if i lose two or three marches but my total troops right now, like, I'll show you guys. Um, I've got a decent amount of infantry, but I've only, like, I'm left with 1.2 million tier 12 calf. I think total I only have 2 million right now. 
So that's basically if I lose two marches, I can't even fill a third. And that's, I would love to have like 5 million tier 12 cavalry. And it'll be tier 12 because I, <laughs> I did some math today, some depressing math. I don't think that I will ever get castle 44 in this game. Um, I think that before I'm able to get castle 44, unless they really make marquee badges a lot easier to get, before they make, um, unless they make badges better to get, sorry, I lose my train of thought, I will never get C44 in this game. Somebody attacking me? Who's attacking me? Who is that? Is somebody just wanting to say hi? Bo Gauz. I hope he's just saying hi. If that's you, if somebody's in chat, hi. Um... You got hammered at the end, which sent me back probably like three levels. Oh, that sucks when people... So, I almost lost the level three tile. Um, blood, speed hit. But I was literally watching it. I saw the red lines and I pulled. So that jumped me up quite a few places. But yeah, lots of fighting definitely makes a big difference. Um, having to pull marches makes a big difference. Getting your resources wiped out makes a big difference. So who's in the middle right now? Is it still Troll? Still Troll. I don't know where he's at, but uh, Troll is a beast, man. And he's also like, he's also super nice. Um, we had Troll, we thought we were getting him in Kingdom uh, 524 for a while. And he made an account. And um, he ended up deciding it was too much work to run to. And he left, but... Before he left, he gave us all a bunch of resources. I think he gave me like 300 million food, wood, iron. Like, it was awesome. Um, so it helped me quite a bit. I think at the time I was level 35 or 36. So I think he actually helped me get to, to C37 or C38. I don't remember which one it was, but it was really nice of him as a uh, parting gift to give us a bunch of resources to help the kingdom out. Six per day would be great. Because, so, uh, sorry, I got caught up in my story, but basically moral of the story is right now I get roughly, I think about 250 badges a month. And that's with spending on badges. Uh, anytime that they're a dollar, I buy them. So I buy the $1 packs, I buy the $5 pack. Um, plus, you know, um, getting stuff from the... KVKs and you know the KVK rewards and all the places I get it from. I estimate that I get about 250 badges a month, and if we take an extra kingdom or two, I might get 300 to 350. But looking at what I need after I hit C43, I need like 30, 300 badges to get to C44, and then I need another like 1800 badges after that to get all of my tier 13 troops. So if I'm only getting 300 a month, that's almost a year from now. Um, and <laughs> a rally. So that's almost a year from now. And maybe I will still be playing, but I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the game. I don't know where YouTube's going to take me. I don't know what's going to happen, but you know, I, a whole nother year to commit to this game seems like a long time. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, like, I get you, Jonathan. Like, they they made aristocrat badges a little bit easier, but marquee badges are just... It's a, it's a long goal. Um, it is quite a ways away, and it is stressful to think about like how far it is if badges i think i would do it if badges went to like 50 cents each i'd be able to do it i could afford that if they don't and they stay the price they are i just don't think it's ever going to happen okay so this guy just got sent back from babar so 
he was leaving partial tiles. Maybe I want to... I think I want to fight him at the end. But I do need to get some more tiles. Um, as soon as these end, I need to try and find some more tiles because I'm so close and I don't want to screw around fighting and lose my top 50. So the goal here is to try and get more tiles. So who's sending that? Fenrir. Like I messed with him a little bit. I want to leave him be. Unless I really, really need something to fight. Yeah, so for me, um, the YouTube community is fantastic. And you guys have been great. Um, most of the time when I play in game, like, I like people and I talk to people. But most of the time when I'm in game... I'm uh I'm just on the game playing like I don't I don't do the social thing very much, um so the game itself has to be fun enough to keep me going and that's the challenge with Guns of Glory is things are getting a little repetitive uh, and things are very expensive it's a very expensive game to play uh, and it's a very aggressive 28 day cycle for updates which is hard to keep up with um, even as a YouTuber with um, sponsorships and contracts and other things going on um, there's it's just it's tough people that can't compete with big spenders yeah like there's definitely going to be players who can't compete at all anymore um, and they just have to quit like there's not going to be any other option for them it's like yeah you know, you either decide that you're going to play um, as someone who doesn't want to be in the top of anything uh, and you just play the game for fun, which they would need some changes. Um, one of the events that I've pitched to them um, and that I would love it if they actually put in is other games. You can actually play the game. What I mean by that is if, if it was a, a Wednesday morning, um, if it was a Wednesday morning and I wanted to actually play the game and there's no events happening, there's nothing for me to do. Um, so, is this person just on this? I don't know if this person's on stream messing with me or someone else, but I'm don't mess with my top 50, dude. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. What happened to my march? Is it, I have a ghost march in the middle of the stream. Oh my gosh. Five minutes left. Um, okay. Yeah, it had been fun. Um, this was this one had a lot more people than I was expecting. It was actually kind of crazy. Um, so definitely a little bit more than what I was expecting. Did I get... So I'm having a hard time with trying to figure out how I'm going to end up here. I need these last four minutes of gathering. Like, I'm so right on the edge. I need one more tile. I need my airship back to hit somebody. That's the uh, the problem. Okay, here's one. So this guy took a tile from me, so as soon as my airship is back, I'll take it back. I don't know if he's on the stream or not. He's scouting me, rallying. Um, I don't know if it's someone that's in here. Uh, I do have Discord. Uh, I usually have Discord open on the PC. I just don't right now um, because I didn't want to eat up extra um, bandwidth.
I could be overthinking it. I'm always thinking. Um, I mean, I think that'd be fun to go in and have a uh, a YouTube um, a YouTube organized new world where we're all just in there. That'd be fun. Hey, Sky, welcome. Right at the end. Um, three minutes left. It's looking okay so far. I'm gonna. It's gonna be close. Whether I can um, get the top fifty or not. I've had some offers, like, uh... <laughs> yeah, how do you compete with someone with 98 billion power? That's, it's true. That's a lot. Um, yeah, I've had offers to have people protect me, and I honestly thought that I was going to be going in with, um, with Dark and the 524 crew, but, uh, I missed it. So, I just happened to not... So the person is definitely someone on stream. Like the admin is me. The admin is a friend. They were kind of messing around, but I needed this. So hopefully I don't, don't I don't get kicked out. Well, next time maybe I'll try and organize it. I always go on day two, and it's usually around this time frame. Um, maybe an hour prior to this. Um, or this time slot. Usually those are the two that I go for. Uh, anything later than this, and it pushes me into a later bedtime that I become kind of a jerk the next day. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see. So a minute and 30 left, just protecting tiles. I'm sitting at 26th, but the last minute um, rush of people is is the hard part. So Looking at the top 10, 174,000 for top 10 is pretty good. Hey, welcome, Tony. <laughs> Tony Tony's from last week. He uh, he came in, he was um, messing with me in New World a little bit, but it was on one of those days that I was having a rough New World. So as he was well-intentioned and he wanted to have some fun, but uh, I was not having a good New World, so I was not as receptive to it as I as I probably would have been normally. And I just really want the top 50, like, going a week without it and not having those speed-ups, it sucks how much you rely on stuff that are additional rewards. Like, the extra 1,400 speed-ups doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. Like, it's a lot of speed-ups. <laughs> That's all right, Void. Like, I have people that add me in here. I just, uh... oh, who's attacking? Oh, okay. Um, so let's call this all back. You ended up fifty fifth. Oh, that's rough. That's like so close to the end. Um, God, now I gotta see what happened. Like. Okay, uh, now the other super important thing that I need to do is I gotta quickly burn my stamina um, and get back to gathering. I don't know about the whole callback thing. Like, I've heard mixed things about, you know, stuff. It's just the last minute, like, I've had people hit me in the last minute just to do it and like screw me out of a tile so the recall is more of a a safety mechanism than anything else so i'm burning my stam i'm going to start doing some gathering real quick and then so the reason i really got to get back to gathering is on these leaderboards i'm in fourth so i'm killing it on this gathering um quest so the rewards for me if i can stay in this four to ten is an extra 6k gold and 50 hours of speed ups so I'm not shaking my head at that. I would love to get into this second or third place spot to get the Scholar Scrolls, because I really need Scholar Scrolls. Um, I'm sure everybody does, but I'm trying to get my March cap up. So definitely something I'm focusing on right now. Hey, Ghost. Thanks. Um, I didn't actually, I mean, I didn't have to steal it. <laughs> it's, uh, I got lucky, so it it got put back in the kingdom for random acquisition 
um, and I ran a rally in the middle of the night because I wanted to burn stamina, and I ended up getting the cloak. So I was like, you know, lucky, and they haven't um, they haven't asked for it back yet. So I'm uh, until they ask for it back, I plan to keep it. And it's not like one of the ones where it's extra combat stats and it really like makes a huge difference for, you know, a tower leader in KVK or anything like that. So maybe they don't care if I have it because I'm one of the higher power players. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought too. The way that once it gets stolen, it comes back to the kingdom. It's supposed to go to threats, right? So for the first couple of days, I was, I was killing threats like crazy. I killed thousands of threats. And then I decided that um, it just wasn't, you know, worth doing that many threats. And I went back to Red Guards. Um, and that's how I ended up getting it. But on the, on the screen for the Relic, it said that it was obtained through Red Guard rallies. So I was like, well, either it's a typo, but what did I do? 58th. Ugh. I missed it again. <sighs> that sucks. So, I guess I'm not a top 50 player anymore. Because I can't... I need to get some more level 3 mines. Um, and I wasn't able to. So that's sad. Because... I get 200 training speed ups. That's okay. That's great, but that's not what I'm after. But I have been playing more passively for some reason. I don't. I don't know why. Dang it. Um, nobody's going to join my rally, so that kills my idea of burning stamina real quick. Well, that sucks. Maybe next week, or what is it, two weeks from now? I'll try again. Um, maybe I'll get really lucky on the on the honor challenge, and I'll get a big stat boost. Like, it'd be awesome to get two of these helmets. Or, oh, um, the Darks Alliance. I was in that alliance for a very long time. Um, and I was not participating in, in KVK as much as I should. I um I was going to school um and my weekends were mostly devoted to school and other things. So I typically was not participating um in KVK and basically it came down to I they needed the spot during KVK. Um, I took a break from the Alliance and joined up to another Alliance. And I've stayed with the other Alliance um, since then. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for Uncharted Seas, but I have a feeling that I'll be going back to that Alliance um, for Uncharted Seas because the Alliance I'm in is great, but as far as doing mega rallies and holding landmarks and doing that type of stuff... There's not enough players in here to support me. Um, and I'm going to end up, you know, trying to lead rallies that don't, um, they don't go anywhere. Or I'm the biggest stat and we're up against people. So I th we're the second biggest alliance in our kingdom. Um, and I'm one of our are power players with my stats. Um, there's some people that have stats similar to me, but oh, blood tooth is the absolute worst thing to get in these chests. So going back to look at these, um, like the worst thing in here is blood tooth. Fire demon is great. Like blood tooth just doesn't give anything. Okay, what do we want to see first? Sorry, I'm trying to keep this in order. Um, rank 7 to 1, rank 9 from a free key. Yeah, that's awesome luck. Like, I want that kind of luck. 
Um, okay, let's go look at Hall of Heroes, leaderboards. Um, what do we want to see first? Alliance power. So there's our alliances. Um, so we're the second. The alliance that was with us was this number five resistance. or um, But they didn't like our rules, so they just unmerged with us and backed off again. I would never merge with LVD because... They don't communicate, they don't respond to emails, and they don't know how to gather tiles. So I would never merge with them. Uh, Misfits with Attitude was a really strong alliance for a long time, but a lot of people quit. Uh, and it hasn't been a strong sense. So this is what we've got. Um, so Kai, for Uncharted Seas, I think that you need multiple alliances. Um... Either that or you need really active R4s that are paying attention to everything. Because what happened on the test server was we got snaked around behind and they cut off our tower line and we weren't even able to fight for the center. So then we had to spend an hour and a half going back and rebuilding our tower lines, reestablishing, and we had missed the center at that point. So we you know, I think it'd be best to have your strongest players in one alliance when you get towards the center so that you can support mega rallies um, and that type of stuff. And then uh, having the other alliances make sure nobody breaks their tower lines. Um, either that or going to try and break the other alliances' tower lines and splitting their attention, um, trying to do stuff like that to draw them away from the fight in the center. What do we want? He wants a shout out to Void and Friends 2.0. Um, so Void and Friends 2.0 in here. We've got some a lot of people in there. Void invites people to join that. Oh, uh, let's see. We can go back and look. I think so. Either her or Pyro. Um, where are we? Leaderboards, individual power. So we've got Dark, Widow, Pyro, Boris, Uhtred, Scarlet. Stonewall, Disc, and myself. So normally I'm actually at 2.3 billion power, so I'm somewhere up higher. But uh, I'm in my gathering gear right now. Oh, I need to send another march. Um, I need to burn my stamina first, too. I'm screwing everything up while I'm trying to do this. So the march that I want on my silver mine is not that one. So I need to... I need to kill my threats real quick and then get back to gathering. Oh, here's the other thing I screwed up on gathering. I'm still in Boris back. So I gotta get out of that and I'll show you guys how to fix that in just a second. Yeah, the tactic was good. It was just frustrating to play it, <laughs> to play against it, because I was getting onto live stream like the super megas in the middle and all that stuff, and then it didn't happen. <laughs> it's like, oh, never mind, we don't get to fight. So I gotta kill a couple more threats and then I'm done. Good night, thanks for showing up. Um, it wasn't a super exciting one, but... You know, I still like coming and hanging out with everybody and, and talking. Answering questions, doing anything I can. Hey, Most Vicious, how you doing? Um, New World's over, so we're just in the closing phases now. We're uh, talking a little bit, doing some of my daily stuff, and then um, I'm going to be closing it up in just a second here. If nobody has any other really any questions they want to see. But for people who do, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a massive, massive player. Um, and he's fun to play with. He's He's really nice. So, gathering here. What I'm sending for this gathering quest, I'm sending um, my fastest gathering march to the silver mines. So I'm sending two gathering guards plus my airship. Because this is the one that's going to gather all night. So I want that to have the highest gathering rate. And the other ones won't matter that much because they're going to come back in while I'm sleeping. Uh, and I won't be able to get him back out, so it's going to be a minute. 
but I tend to send one gathering card with every march. Oh, we tried to recruit you? You should have come. <laughs> like, they built a pretty good squad. Um, we had some, some pretty heavy recruiting going on for a while. Uh, let's see, stats and skins. Um, where are my most current stats? Did I do any fights with my airship? So my stats right now are these. So 11k troop attack, 22 cav attack. So this is this is with the troop buffs on. Um, and then these are my damage stats. My army damage uh, is low because I'm in my creation arena spec. And then this is where I'm at with research. And then my war books. So I'm at 40, 24, 0. That's another area that I need to focus more on. Yeah, we try and recruit, and I try and get people to, um, you know, even if they're not top players, if, if you're bored of your kingdom and you're feeling like starting over, you know, come join us in 524 and BAM, and we'll work our best to try and help build you up and, you know, get you get you on the right path. Um, I haven't been in the Alliance with Dark Mystic since March. Um, I remember it very well because, um, so I was going to school for, you know, I've been going, I went for, to school for about two years, um, doing online classes and I was doing like 24 to 36 credits a semester. Hold on, I got <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and I was not participating in KVK as much as I should have. And there was one KVK that was brutal. It was almost 24 hours long. It was the full day. Everybody lost tons and tons of troops. And I was studying for my finals. Um, I had my final exam for a cloud security course. It was my last course, so I was studying for that. And then when I was done studying we had a wedding to go to. So basically the entire day for the 24 hour KVK, I was not there. Uh, and after that I needed to, you know, get out of the Alliance and take a break because, uh, I was not participating enough. So I moved over to BAM and I've been with BAM ever since. Well, think about this. What up? Like, um, as as often as they're recycling the stats, you know, <laughs> you could start over and then just wait three months and buy the new stuff when it comes out and you're maxed out again. <laughs> but no, I get it. I would never restart. There's no way I would ever restart in this game unless I had a sponsor or somebody who said start a new kingdom and we'll give you like three grand a month. You know, if I had something like that, okay, I might start over. But outside of that, I would never start over in this game. Oh, uh, you also asked to see castle skins. I don't have many castle skins. Um, I've got March skins because I, I spend... This is the only permanent castle skin I have. This is Olympus and then the free ones they gave out for the anniversary. The rest of these are all like one days. Um, whoops. March skins, I have the ones that you get when you buy top-ups. So these are the ones I have. And then I don't have any airship skins, I don't think. I don't even know where to see that. Oh, back in the airship area. I definitely don't have any um, any airship skins. So in here, I've got the three basic ones. And then I think this one is a... I think I have a seven day for this and this. So neither one of them are permanent, but I don't plan to use them anytime soon. Maybe if I got a mercenary airship, I might use it. Oh man, if I had 100k to spend on the game, like, I would definitely start over so that I could be the biggest player in a kingdom. That would be fun, but I would be a total jerk, and I would not use my real name. I would just, like, not let anybody know it's me so that I kept YouTube subscribers because people would hate me. Um, 
update on merging. So I haven't actually been given any information on this one. Um, and I wish that they would tell me something or I wish that they would tell us something because everybody's asking and we don't actually know. Um, but you're going to go 592. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know what the deal is with merging. It's either going to be part of Uncharted Seas or they're going to do it like they did in KOA where it was based on the star system. Um, I don't know what path they're going to go with. What, how, how do they do it in, in uh, State of Survival? Because that's... I played State of Survival for a while, but... Um, let's see. For 100,000, you could have a couple accounts. Yeah. Oh, man. You got hacked and lost... Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's so much. Was it a Google account or a Facebook account that hacked? Like, that, that just, that really sucks. Like, they should reimburse you for that. But I know that they, like, never reimburse anybody for anything. It's horrible. Um, okay, so I missed a question. What can you say on troop skills now? Um, I still think, so based on, um, Based on the way things are going, I still do like two or three upgrades a day, and that's it. So I'm spreading them out. Um, oh, they're going to reimburse you? That would be nice, but... Oh, I'll spend a $1 pack. Do it. Are they just trying to confirm that it's actually you based on spending or something? Yeah, um, there's diminishing returns on troop skills. So, see right here, right above upgrade, it says the consumption rate resets to the initial level at reset every day. Um, basically, that means that after every skill you upgrade, the badge cost increases by one. So, there's a diminishing return on badges and how many you should use each day to maximize and that kind of depends on you and how many badges you have and how many you've bought. Um, if you're completely free to play, I recommend spending six badges on infantry, six on distance, and seven on cavalry, or whatever your main march is, um, and just kind of spreading it out. Because unless you're... And that's, that's from my point of view for defense. If you never, ever get hit, and your castle is for offense only then just focus on your main, you know, your main attack march. But if you're like me and you do take hits every now and then and you like to go out in Kingdom Raid and UAC and those other things, I recommend having all the troop skills uh, and leveling them all up because, you know, when I have, I've got like 1.5 million tier 11 cavalry, so it benefits me to increase their stats. Sure, post coordinates. I'll take a look. Um, but yeah, for me to do upgrades, like right now, I've been pushing on this a little bit. But um, I think I'm actually going to do tier eleven today. So I'm going to do tier eleven, and I'm going to level three times on cavalry. So see how the batch count went up two, three, four, five. So now it's five per upgrade. That's across all of them. The the, the initial cost increased. So tier 11 here um, starts at 4. After I do it, it's going to increase to 5. And then it'll increase to 6. Um, I got 58. Uh, it was... It's not like I was fighting a lot. And I thought I had mines... Um, for a pretty big chunk of the time, I just... Didn't end up... Um, I didn't end up finishing. It was just... Like so close yet so far. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go back to the troops one second. Um, so, what are we looking at? 362. Oops. One, 
1059 and oh wait no 1059 is over here and this one is 625 is that fire starter 6.8 billion oh that's awesome I would love to have a castle that big um I think it would take me months to get that big. That's crazy. Like, actually, years, because I've been playing for like 500 days and I'm only at 2 point something billion. Like, looking over here, 511 days, and I'm barely 2 billion power. So, to get 6 billion, <laughs> we'll see in three years. Um, my troop order. Um, what do you mean by troop order? As far as my marches in here, or like what troops I have. So, ah, oh, nineteen. That's good. I mean, there's different ways to build your castle, and focusing on stats is one of them. Um, so in here in in the grounds i've got the way i built this is that tier 12 is my wall so my tier 12 troops die first most of these lower tiers all of these lower tiers um are behind my tier 12s and it does work i've tested it against some much bigger players um one of the big ones being Let's see, not this one, I need the one where I lost this weekend against Luca. this one. Um, so this hit uh, against Luca. so I ate his whole march, but the one caveat to this, the reason it didn't work as well as it should have, which I think it worked pretty well, the reason it didn't work as well as it should have was because I was trying to gather resources from a castle that had 80 million resources. So I was just hitting attack, send, attack, send, attack, send. Um, and all of my infantry was out. So looking at the benefits or the battle details here, notice how I only had 89,000 tier 12 infantry. Um, so instead of having my 2 million infantry to soak damage, um, I didn't have any. So he got right through that, and then he ate through all of my my lower tier um, infantry troops. So, yeah, Firestarter's a funny name. There's, uh, it definitely fits if you're at 6.8 billion. That's, uh, I'd like to follow you around for Kingdom Raid and get resources after you kill people. So yeah, this this march type, um, it works. You just have to have enough tier 12 to make it work. So spirit mines, let me reset it before you guys wreck my face. Um, I am on floor 39. Or floor 38. Level, level 38 mining area in 1159. That's my usual spot. So I just ask uh, if you guys want to test your your stats and stuff. Like, try not to do it when I have like you know an hour left, and you're killing seven hours of my mining time. Although I do have a lot of access right now, I just um, you know I don't like losing a ton of crystals. Oh, I'm in farm gear right now. Okay. There. Um, what was I doing? I was spending my daily currency. Yeah, like, I just, uh, I don't, I personally, I don't think I'll ever have enough to spend to make a castle that big. 
unless like Shiba coin goes to a dollar and then I'd have millions of dollars and then I could spend lots of money on the game but uh, outside of that happening um, you know I just I don't think I'll ever have that kind of money or lottery but you know I say lottery I don't even play the freaking lottery so there's no way I can ever win if I don't play it'd be nice but you know all right um it's getting late for me I think I'm gonna call it here uh, I can't believe that 28 of you stayed just to to hang out after new world was over um, but yeah I think that's uh that's it for this stream. Thanks for coming. Sad result that I only got 58th, but, you know, it happens. And I guess I'll see you all for the next stream.